Hi guys, welcome back to the Clean Scalpel. Um, again, my name is Dr. Shukla. Uh, We're here to uh, make you think about surgery like uh, athletes think about their sport, something that requires time, uh, energy, and of course, practice, which is what we're here for. Uh, I really want to thank the students in uh, not only University of Central Florida for the teaching session, but also the current uh, USF virtual AI medical students. I think they've been a phenomenal help to helping me know where to direct this uh, channel, and I really appreciate that. Uh, they're always giving me new ideas and showing me what I haven't explained well. So here we are today to clarify some of the issues that came up during the time. So today we're going to go over two things, guys. Uh, the first thing is getting the knot slid down, and the second thing is what you actually have to do with your body when you're putting down your two-handed knots. Okay, so let's start with the first thing. So again, for education purposes here, all I have is a needle driver. I got my shoelace. One of the top, one of the sides is knotted. Okay, but all we're going to focus on right now is how do you actually send the knot down once you tie the knot. So we'll start off very simply. We'll tie the knot. And I'm just going to do one-handed here, but now you're way back in the back of the suture. I've, I'm going to break it down into a few steps. Okay, so step one is you got the knot tied. Step two is how do you get from this to the knot down? So the best way to do that is spread your fingers out. Okay, you want to move your hand perpendicular to how the knot's running. So that's step two. Step three, you want to roll that forward. Okay, and now what I'm doing here, step four is with my middle finger and my ring finger, I'm just re-grabbing that suture. And I can let go with my thumb and my index finger. So what you have here now is you're ready to cinch the knot down. And again, when you cinch it down, you want your index finger below the level of the knot. Okay? So I'll show you that again. Okay, knot. Move perpendicular to it. You're cinching down. So the further back you start, you may notice that you may have to do one and maybe a second one, but usually one good slide is enough. Now, the most common uh, location that I see people make errors in this is what they'll do is instead of getting the full hand roll out, they'll go and just grab for this. And look what happens to the distance. It's very short distance that you actually travel versus if you let it wrap around your hand, you notice and you re-grab, notice the distance that you've traveled. It's double that distance, okay? So step one, tie the knot. Step two, roll grab, and then you should be pretty close to making that a definitive knot. Now guys, for the second portion of this video, we're going to go over actually how you move your body to get the knots laying flat, okay? So we haven't really changed our setup. We have, have our knot, and this goes back to what we talked about in our last course. So how are you going to start your first knot? So for me, again, I cross it with the right over the left, and I know I'm going to have to start off with the loser. So I tie my two-handed knot, okay? Now this one, I don't really need to rotate because it's coming down square. So again, what we learn, you roll, you grab, and the knot is cinched down. Now I know for the next knot, I'm going to have to turn, okay, counterclockwise because I'm going to throw a shooter, throw my two-handed knot, and now here's everything else in motion. Now you notice the first thing is my body. I'm actually going to turn my body, okay? By doing that, I'm not allowing my hands to cross. But everything else is the same. The hands sweep forward. They swing. They grab. They cinch the knot down, okay? Now, coming back, I'm ready for... And again, this is going down flat, so same thing. Down. I know I'm going to throw a shooter, okay? Body's already turning, the sweep happens, knot goes down. So in this fashion, okay, I'm not rushing anything, you notice that each of my knots are coming down square, and I'm making a slight turn in my body 
to make sure that these knots go down, okay? So that's essentially how we're going to be practicing that technique, guys. You have to make the effort to, number one, know which side you're going to be rotating, and then actually make that move. And the goal being your hands, I almost should never see the hands being crossed like this. It's just kind of poor form. It looks a little bit amateurish, and you want to look slick when you operate. So those are the two things. Again, thank you for the students that are um, asking me these questions. Uh, thank you again for all the emails, and uh, we'll keep this going. I think the next video, guys, we're going to detract from our old plan, and we're actually going to do a little reaction video where the students have graciously allowed me to comment on some of the videos they're sending me. So uh, for all the other people that are watching, I think we'll get a one-on-one -on -one experience about the subtleties and what we need to change. So until uh, next time, um, like and subscribe, and we'll go from there. Thank you.